Diane Olix uh, in f uh, for Lisa, and she's with us now, breaking news on the housing market. Uh, let's get to Diana. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. And speaking of rates, mortgage rates moved higher again last week, and that hit both current homeowners and potential home buyers. Refinance applications, which are most sensitive to weekly rate moves, fell 5% for the week, 20% lower than the same week a year ago. That's the slowest pace since last June. That's because the average rate on the 30-year fixed rose to 3.36% from 3.33. Doesn't sound like a lot, but with rates rising steadily, refi volume is down more than 30% in the past 10 weeks. Now, mortgage applications to buy a home down 5% for the week. They were 51% higher than the same week one year ago, but wait, you have to cross that out. That annual comparison for the next several weeks will be very large because remember the housing market essentially stopped at this time last year when the pandemic shut down the economy. It then rebounded dramatically at the start of the summer. The weekly drop is more because prices are red hot and there's very little out there to buy. Now mortgage rates have moved lower a little bit so far this week after refusing to break through recent highs. So this could bode well for home buyers in the coming weeks. Becky. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.